OK, so we now have formulas for the sum to n terms. We've got two of them. We've got this Sn equals a half n a plus l, and the Sn equals a half n 2a plus n minus 1d. Now, the reason why we've got two is because in some cases we'll know the last term, and in some cases we won't. OK, so if you know the last term, then that first uh, equation, this first formula rather, um, will be easier to use. But if you don't, and you just know the first term, the common difference, and how many terms there should be in the sequence, then the second uh, formula will work. So it's like our backup. So number one, 3 plus 7 plus 11 plus all the way up to 267. We know the first term, we know the last term. So um, the th only thing is we don't know how many terms there are. Okay. Now, although we know the first term and the last term, which means you know inferring that Sn equals a half n a plus l seems to be the easiest one to use, we don't know what n is. So if we don't know what n is, that means we've got to work it out. Okay. So what do we know? Well, seeing as we know the first term is 3, we also know that the common difference is 4, because we're going up in 4s. So that means we can use this formula, the un equals a plus n minus 1d, to work out what n goes with the 267. So what value of n is 267? What is the position? So 267 is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. So if I get 267, take away the 3, divide by the 4, then add the 1, I can find that n must be 67. So there are 67 terms in this series. So that means I now have enough information. Now, seeing as I've got a, d, and n, I could substitute into the second formula. I'm, all, I'm going to substitute into the first one because I know that L is 267, the last term. So S, 67, the sum to the 67 terms, is 1 half times N, 67, times by A, 3, plus L, 267. So half times 67 times 3 plus 267 makes 9,045. OK, so that is the answer to number one. Right. Now for number two, we've got 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus dot 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 for 360 terms. So now we have A, which is 5. We know N is 360. We know D is going to be 3, going up in 3s. We don't know what L is. But we don't need to know what L is because we have a formula that just has N, A and D in it. So S 360, the sum to 360 terms, is 1 half times n times by 2 lots of a, so 10, plus n minus 1, well, n is 360, so 359, times by d, 3. So a half times 360 times, open bracket, 10 plus 359 times 3. And that makes 195660. So 195,660. OK? And that's the answer to number two. Number three, we have 100 plus 98 plus 96 plus dot 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 down to minus 116. So we know the first term a is 100. We know the common difference is minus 2. We also know the last term is minus 116. Now, we don't know what n is. Both of the formulas require n. 
So I'm going to have to figure out what position minus 116 is. So minus 116 is equal to A, the first term, plus N minus 1 times by the common difference minus 2. So we have minus 116, take the 100 from both sides, divide both sides by minus 2, and then add the 1. So we get 109, so that's the value of n. So we now know that minus 116 is the 109th term in this sequence. So the sum to 109 terms, now I could use either now because I've got the information for either. I'm going to use the first one because it's easier to work with. That's a half times 109 times by A, which is 100, plus L, which is minus 116. So we get a half times 109 times by 100 take away 116. So that's minus 872. Okay. Right, so that's that one. Now, number four, we've got minus 3.5, take away 3.4, take away 3.3, take away and so on for 89 terms. So, first term is minus 3.5. Common difference is 0.1, so we're adding on 0.1 each time. We've got n as 89. So, I don't need to work out what the last term was. I can go straight into using the second formula. So the sum of the first 89 terms is a half times by n times by two lots of a, which is minus 7, plus n minus 1, so 88, times by the common difference 0 0.1. So we have a half times 89 times by minus 7 plus 88 times 0 0.1, which is... 80.1. Okay, and that's number four. Now, number five and number six, they're both in sigma notation. So we should understand what these represent. Now, let's see what we can find. First of all, we're going to need A, the first term. So A is when n is 1. So 38 take away 4 lots of 1, so that's 34. Now the common difference, because this is the nth term, 38 minus 4n, that means we're subtracting 4 each time. So D is minus 4. Now what is n? Well, we're going from the first term up to the 50th term, and so that will be 50 terms. So, from that, we have enough information to figure out what this is, okay, to evaluate it. Now, we could have found L as well by finding the last term, by substituting 50 into this. That gives us the last term. I'm going to run with that information. Well, I've just used that formula, haven't I? So, I'll, I'll use the uh, half N, A plus L. Let's find L. Let's go for it. So L is substituting 50 into this, 38, take away 4 lots of 50, so minus 162. So this is equal to um, a half N, so 1 half times 50 times A plus L. So 1 half times 50 times by 34, take away 162 which is minus 3,200. And seeing as we have the sigma notation on our calculator, it would be a good idea to check that you get the same result. Okay, which you should do. Okay, so that's number five. So finally, number six, 
We've got 0.2 n plus 1.3 from n is 16 up to 157. Now, A is when n is 16. So 0.2 times 16 plus 1.3 is 9 halves, so 4.5. Now the common difference is what's in front of the n here, so the 0.2. As for n, this is where you've got to be a little bit more careful, okay? The actual number of terms, because it's not 157 terms, because we're going for the 16th term up to the 157th. And the thing is, it's not just 157 take away 16, okay? What you've got to think about is you've got 157 down to the 16th term, but the 16th one is included. So really, you need to subtract 15. So when we did this, you don't do 50 take away 1 and say, right, there's 49 terms. Okay, That doesn't make any sense. We're going from the first term up to the 50th term. Clearly, there are 50 terms. So when you do this, it's 157 take away 15, not take away 16, because the 16 is included. So we actually get 142 for n. And so we're now ready. So now I'm actually going to use the second formula. So a half n times by two lots of a, so that's 9, plus n minus 1, so 141, times by the common difference 0 0.2. So 1 half times 2 lots of 142 times by 9 plus 141 times 0.2. And that gets me 2,641.2. OK? And quickly check that using your sigma notation on your calculator. OK, so 16 up to 157. And yes, 2,641.2. OK? So this is how you work with these new sum to n formulas.